Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you what you can do with your leftover resin that drips onto your table and how you can take this and create new pieces from it. So I know a lot of resin artists will have tons of like resin scraps from where the resin has dripped off their artworks onto their tabletops and because I cover everything with plastic it peels straight off um, or you just have like leftover bits from like you pour too much resin together and you kind of don't want to like just chuck it away because it's putting you know resin out into the environment but there's also like what else do you do of it? So I thought it'd be really cool to um, chop all this resin up and actually recast it into some silicon molds. I've got two different silicon molds here today. So I've just got a tray and a little plant pot. I thought they'd just be really cool ones to do this idea. You're then gonna need all your resin scraps. Um, you can either color code this if you want. I didn't, I literally just cut up a whole random bunch of different resin scraps that I had that different colors. But if obviously you work with a certain color quite a lot and you've got a lot of blue resin um, left over, you can always like color theme it there. So you could just cut up all your blues and do it like that. But I've just cut up all of my colors. Um, you're gonna need some more resin and some pigment if you want to add pigment into this as well. Also too guys, look what just arrived in the mail. It is my 100,000 subscribers plaque from YouTube. So once you hit this milestone, you can apply for it from YouTube. And um, if they approve you, you get sent this in the mail and it's just arrived while I was filming this. So I'm gonna open it up on camera with you guys. I am so excited. I honestly cannot believe there's 100,000 of you guys that are interested in my videos and like kind of like what I'm teaching to do with like resin and alcohol, inks and candle making and dyeing. Um, I hope a lot more of you start to join my channel and I can hit that next milestone of, I think the next one you get a plaque for is like half a million, which is, I don't know, that, that seems so far away, but I'm gonna keep doing this because I absolutely love this channel and I love teaching all of you guys. But yeah, 100,000 of you guys, that is incredible. Thank you so much for all of your support. All right, so let's open this up. It actually arrived pretty fast. It only took like two weeks to get to me. So I've got my little thing from YouTube. If each of your subscribers was a light year away, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That's, that's pretty cool. And this is my 100,000. So the first one is silver and then I think the next one is gold. And then the one after that is platinum and that's like a million, which I have no clue if I'd ever get to there that day. Um, but I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna probably like display this on like one of my shelves here. Um, or I might put it in my room because I don't want to get resin on it and I tend to get resin on everything that's in my studio space. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much and I also am running that competition um, because I reached 100,000 so I'm going to announce that at the end of this video of the three people that won in my 100,000 subscriber competition. So make sure you stay tuned until the very end of this video. The first thing you're going to need to do is go and collect all of your resin scraps and decide on which pieces you're going to start chopping up. Some of these are so beautiful with the way that the resin like drips off the board and creates such beautiful like little patterns like this that it kind of seems like super wasteful to chuck them out. So I'm just going to go through and chop all these pieces up. You can chop them as big or as small as you want them or you can leave them in their drip version. It's completely up to you on what you want to do. Look at how pretty these all look chopped up. It kind of reminds me of confetti. So the next step you want to do is just grab your silicon molds and measure out your resin. Today I'm using the Barnes Epoxy Cast, but you can use whatever casting resin you would like. Um, this resin is a two to one ratio, so I'm measuring out I think it was 300 mils in total, so 100 mils of my part A and 200 mils of my part B, and then just mixing those up together. That's enough to do both of my molds, and then I'm just going to divide it off for the two separate molds. So once everything's mixed, you can start adding in your resin chips. 
I'm also adding some white alcohol ink into my resin. I don't want my resin to be fully opaque white because obviously then it would cover up all of my resin chips, but I want to have it as a white background. So I'm just doing enough where it's going to be sort of a milky um, instead of full opaque white and then just adding all of my chips in. Once I poured my resin mixture into my mold, I just went back over the top and added in some more alcohol ink just to add a little bit more interest to the piece. Now it's time to start working on my second mold, which is this pink one. It's a little baby plant pot mold. I got this off my Amazon store, so I'll add the link below. Um, and I just wanted to be super cute to put like a tiny little succulent in there. I was also given a massive bag of glitter. I actually got given quite a few bags of glitter um, from a craft store that was closing down that didn't want to throw it away. So they gave me a whole bunch of glitter um, for me to use so that way it doesn't go into landfill. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to add it into this project as well just to see the difference. And then I'm just pouring all of that into my plant pot mold. It's 24 hours later and my resin is cured, so it's time to demold my tray and my plant pot. So here are my two finished pieces and I think they've actually turned out super cool. They look like it was designed like this, that I wasn't just trying to use like leftover scraps of resin. And the thing that I love about this is it makes this art form even more like eco-friendly. Like I do quite a few steps where I'm trying to like minimize my waste. No matter kind of what art form you do, there's going to be waste. Um, but all of like my cups and my stirring sticks are all plastic so that way they're reusable. I put plastic on all of my tables so that way I don't have to like constantly chuck out the disposable plastic. It's all that real thick like can be used again. Um, and now that I'm like finding a use for this, I'm going to have like only really waste will be like some paper towel um, and just the containers that the resin comes in now if I keep using up all of my resin scraps. So that's what I really like about this idea. But it also looks just like it looks like I did this on purpose, like I wasn't just trying to use up leftover resin. And then with this one with the glitter, I think it's turned out really cool, like because I didn't buy that glitter, it was given to me. So now I've got to find a bunch of uses for it so that way it doesn't end up in landfill. Um, but I feel like this is going to be so cute with like a little succulent popping out and it's got like the little water hole too, so it's super handy. Um, but yeah, I think that looks cool, the glitter too, like just two different takes on um, the same sort of thing. You could obviously really chop these pieces up so it's really super fine. You could even do like a terrazzo effect coasters with your chopped up pieces of resin would be also a really cool effect to do as well. Um, or you could make them bigger and make them a bit more of like a statement throughout the piece. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. I am just about to announce the winners um, for my competition. So thank you guys for watching up until this point. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, do all those things. Leave a comment in the box below if you found this helpful. Um, but here are my three winners. I'm going to display it up on the screen. And if you could please contact me so I can arrange your prizes. Um, you can either contact me via Instagram or via my Facebook page. I'll probably reply fastest to my Facebook page. Um, so feel free to just give me a message and we'll organize your prizes. Thank you guys so much for watching.